In this tutorial, we'll be importing citations from EBSCOhost databases. We'll start by locating an article in an EBSCO database. We'll find out where to access the tools that you'll need in order to export to EndNote Online. And then we'll identify some of the corrections that you may need to make once you've exported. When you begin your EBSCO search, don't forget to choose the appropriate databases for your search topic. Click the Choose Databases link above the search box. Since my search is going to be Early Education and Finance, I'm going to select Education Databases and a Business Economics Database. I'm typing Early Childhood Education in quotes since it's a phrase and Finance for my search. Limiting to scholarly and peer-reviewed, and limiting the age of the articles that I'd like to find as well. Click the title of the first article that you'd like to export to your EndNote web library. And under the Tools menu, click Export. In the Export Manager, you'll see a number of citation formats listed. Choose the one for EndNote Web. EndNote Web will automatically open in a new tab in your browser. You'll also see that one item was successfully imported into your collection. Click on the My References tab. Note that you now have one unfiled item. That's the new item that you just imported. Click the Unfiled Item link. You'll notice that there's an icon for EBSCOhost and a link to take you back to the record and possibly the full text of the article. You'll need to click the title of the article you just imported so that you can do some editing and checking. Click the title again to open the text editor. Since some citation styles, such as APA, require that article titles be in sentence case, that is, only the first word of the title should be capitalized, you may need to make that correction in EndNote Web. It depends on the database that the citation came from or was exported from. Scroll down and take a look at other elements of your citation. You might also want to take a look at the DOI. You'll learn about the importance of this for journal article citations later. Be sure to save your citation before continuing. Now you're ready to share this citation with a specific group of people or file it in a folder. Click on Unfiled. Check the item and use the drop-down menu to select the appropriate group. Don't forget to check our live guide for EndNote or email or call if you have further questions.